Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will implement a fingerprint authentication feature, but this time using Jetpack Compose. You know what a fingerprint authentication is, right? Nowadays, every smartphone has a fingerprint lock screen. You simply add your fingerprints and use it to unlock your screen. The same thing can be done for an app lock screen or app login, right? In banking apps, we use passwords and biometric fingerprints to log in. Likewise, we will create an app. This is our app lock screen or you can even say app login screen. Now to enter the home screen of the app, you have to use your fingerprint. So I scan my finger at the fingerprint sensor. This looks blank due to privacy reason while mirroring the device. But here we are. Welcome to the home screen. Simple, right? However, we won't add or save any fingerprints. We will use existing fingerprints that are saved in your device. Like in your settings, you add biometric fingerprints, right? That's exactly what we will use. Now let's create it. Open Android Studio. Create a new empty activity. Name of the project, My Fingerprint App JC. And click on Finish. Now to implement the fingerprint authentication feature, we will use biometric prompt API. So add its dependency in build cradle. Now click on sync now. And done. Then next, go to Android manifest. We need two permissions. The first is use biometric permission. And the second is use fingerprint permission. So add both of them and done. Now, fingerprint permission comes with its package that is hardware access 2, which is basically your fingerprint sensor. So, add that as well. Next, our main activity will be our login screen. This is where the fingerprint authentication will happen, right? So, we need a new class that will act as our home screen. Hence, create a new Kotlin class and name it home screen. This is the home screen. This is where the main content of the app is, which you can access if your fingerprint matches. For simplicity, we will add just a text view here in home screen that says, welcome to the home screen. So write along with me, add component activity, then create a surface with fill max size, and a background. Then create a composable function, home screen content. Inside it, Create a box with fill max size and alignment as center. Then inside that box, a text will appear which says, Welcome to the home screen. With a font size 24 SP and other attributes. And that's it. Don't forget to call home screen content here inside the set content. And our home screen is ready. Now go to main activity. Remove the default code. This is where the fingerprint authentication will happen. Now let's write the code step by step. So to check if biometric authentication is available or not, we will use a biometric manager. This class provides information about fingerprint or face biometrics. Now let's write the code for fingerprint authentication. Create a function called fingerprint login screen function to check if the fingerprint matches or not. It consists of two parameters can authenticate, boolean, it either can be true, means successful authentication, 
or false means authentication failed. Then on auth success as a unit, which is basically a callback function that gets triggered after successful fingerprint authentication. Now inside it, create a context variable for toast. Then we require activity as a fragment activity. Why? Because biometric accepts fragment activity as a parameter, not context. I'll show you where later, okay? Then we create an executor, which tells the app on which thread the authentication callbacks will run. In this case, we use the main thread because we'll be updating your elements like toast messages. Next, we create a biometric prompt instance. This is the main class that handles the fingerprint authentication. It takes three parameters, activity, executor, and a callback function. Hence, I am using fragment activity instead of context. Executor and for callback, I will use authentication callback. Inside the callback, we handle three important scenarios. First, if the authentication is successful, meaning if the fingerprint matches, we show a success toast as fingerprint matched, login successful, and then auth success. Second scenario, if the authentication fails, meaning the fingerprint is incorrect, we simply show a toast saying fingerprint not matched login failed then in the third scenario if an error occurs like sensor error or too many attempts or when the user cancel the scan then throw an error toast after that we configure the prompt ui using biometric prompt api prompt info dot builder here we set the title as biometric authentication then subtitle as use fingerprint to access the app and the negative button text as cancel and then finally build it. This code launches the fingerprint dialog on the screen. In some devices, if the default fingerprint prompt doesn't appear, then this dialog box will appear. Now let's design the UI. So create a column with fill max size and a padding of 24 dp. Keep the vertical arrangement as center and the horizontal alignment as center horizontally. Then inside the column, add an image. This is where the fingerprint image will be displayed. So let's add the fingerprint vector in the drawable folder. And now add it here. Keep the content description as fingerprint icon and size 100 dp. Then below the image, give a spacer of 16 dp height. Then below it, create a button whose on click says, if can authenticate is true, means if the biometric is available, then it will display the prompt info, basically the dialog box. But if it is false, means if the biometric is not available on the device, then it will throw a toast as biometric authentication not available. Simple, right? Also, the button text is login with fingerprint. Now, inside the set content, create a surface with fill max size and a background. Then inside it, call our composable function that is fingerprint login screen. The argument checks if the can authenticate is available which means biometric authentication like fingerprint or face recognition is available or not, the biometric strong is equal to biometric success, which means it is available. In that case, on auth success is equal to start the home screen activity. And finish closes the current activity. And that's it. We faced an error due to fragment activity, hence we need to add one more thing as we are using fragment activity. 
hence we will use app compact activity instead of component activity so for that we need to add app compact dependency in gradle now click on sync now and done then come back to main activity and here replace the component activity with app compact activity next we also need to change the theme to app compact and that's it also to avoid error make sure your home screen is declared here inside the android manifest okay now let's run the app this is what it looks like so to enter the home screen i log in with my fingerprints the device is using the default prompt as shown on the screen look the fingerprint matches i'll try a different fingerprint that is not registered on this device and look recognition fade as shown on the screen now i'll try the register one and it works try adding this feature to your existing app to keep it secure okay so yeah that's it for the video if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video